could do a variety of exercises. And just like we did with the vestibular ocular examination, we could do these as part of the assessment, and we could also do them as part of the treatment program, where we start at one point, and then we gradually progress the exercises. So for balanced assessment, for example, we could do rhombus test. And for rhombus, I want you to stand with your feet close together, okay, and cross your arms across your chest, and we will hold this position for 30 seconds, okay? So we time it, and we maintain it for 30 seconds. For patients with vestibular disease, they might have difficulty or like, you know, increased weight in this position. Once the patient finishes with 30 seconds, then we do it with eyes closed. So I want you to close your eyes, okay? And we observe the patient for any weight. After we finish the 30 seconds, if the patient is able to do it, now the next progression, we could do it with the uh, salt and rhombus or the sand and rhombus, where I want you to uh, position one foot in front of the other, if the knee touch the toes, okay? Arms crossed across the chest, and I want you to hold it for 30 seconds, and uh, observe for sway or loss of balance. Once the patient is able to do 30 seconds, then we do the eyes closed. Okay, good. Now, as part of the assessment, you can reduce your speed. As part of the assessment, we report what the task that, um, what is the task, and how much time the patient was able to uh, hold it. As part of the training, we try to progress the task and increase the time the patient is able to do it. Uh, the next one is um, a single leg stand. So I want you to stand on one leg, okay? And we do it with uh, alternating legs, so this one first. And I want you to hold this for 30 seconds. So I time it. And you hold this for 30 seconds. Okay, can you close your eyes? Okay, again, close the eyes. And do balance. <laughs> okay, try again. <laughs> okay. And basically we time it. So we time how much time the leg is able to maintain the position. Okay, with the eyes closed. And then whenever they stop, okay, this will be our goal to improve this time. Okay, you can open your eyes. And then we repeat it with the other leg. Okay. Okay, so same thing with the eyes open. Then we do it with the eyes closed. Okay, you can stop. The next advancement for this exercise would be to do tandem walking. So for this one, yes, I want you to hold your arms, cross your arms across the chest and uh, let the knee touch the toes and now take a step okay two keep going three okay so we are walking on a straight line okay and we count the number of steps and the target would be to increase the number of steps whenever the patient touches the ground of the line then we restart our count all of these exercises except this very last one can be uh, done repeated again on a home cushion uh, to challenge the balance further. And again, this can be part of the exercise program. Of course, it's very important to note that as the exercise program, if the patient is doing these at home, they need to be safe. So they should do it close to something that they can hold to if they lost their balance in order to be safe.